The MediaPipe Interactive Segmenter task lets you divide an image into two regions, a selected object and everything else. The task takes a location in an image, estimates the boundaries of an object at that location, and returns image data defining the area of the object. You can use this task to interactively select an object in an image and use the output to apply effects to the image, such as color overlays highlighting the object or blurring the background around it. There are APIs available for Android, Python, and the web, with more coming in the future. To get started using the interactive segmentation task for the web, we will first take a look at the available model, Magic Touch. This model identifies segments given image coordinates for an area of interest. It uses a convolutional neural network similar to a MobileNet v3 architecture with a customized decoder. The available models might change over time, so definitely check the docs for the latest details. And if you don't need an interactive component, MediaPipe also offers an image segmentation task with models for segmentation selfies and for various objects like backgrounds, dogs, cats, people, or potted plants. You can try out the image segmentation and interactive segmentation tasks in MediaPipe Studio to see which works best for your use case. You can also try out different configuration options so you can see everything the tasks can do. Now that you've gotten familiar with the model and maybe played around with the interactive segmentation task in MediaPipe Studio, you're ready to code. First, install the task's vision package. You can download the package using NPM and use a JavaScript compilation tool like Webpack, or you can import the package using a CDN. Once the API is installed, you're ready to initialize. Here we have a function, create interactive segmenter. First, we configure our WASM binary loading using the file set resolver for vision tasks method. WebAssembly, or WASM, is a binary instruction format for a stack-based VM. You don't need to understand WASM to use MediaPipe solutions for the web. Just know that WASM allows non-web-based code to run on the web. Next, we create the interactive segmenter using the interactive segmenter create from options method passing the file set resolver you just created and the model. Notice that the two assets are linked from external URLs. For the best user experience, you don't want to bundle your model or WASM binary into the website. Instead, store them server-side and provide links when initializing your interactive segmenter as shown here. You can also provide optional parameters with your initialization. I've included them here along with their default values. Output category mass is a Boolean that, when set to true, the output of running segmentation includes a segmentation mask as a uint date image, where each pixel value indicates if the pixel is part of the object located in the area of interest. Output confidence masks is a Boolean that, if set to true, the output includes a segmentation mask as a float value image, where each float value represents the confidence that the pixel is part of the object located in the area of interest. To run segmentation on an image, use the interactive segmenter segment method, passing the image source. This function is synchronous, which is good to keep in mind when designing your UI. This source can be an HTML canvas element, HTML image element, image data, or image bitmap. The region of interest is a key point or scribble indicating the area the user wants to segment. You likely want the user to be able to select the region of interest, so your call to segment might look more like this, with a handle click function triggered by an event and key points determined by where the user clicked on the image in the click event. There is also a version of the segment method that uses a callback. The callback-based method is more efficient and memory will be freed automatically for you. But the segmentation result resources will only exist when the callback is running, so use the other method if you need to be able to access them later. You can access your segmentation results through the category mask or confidence masks properties. The content of the output depends on the output type you set when you configured the task. Each use case will, for this data will be unique, so check out the CodePen demo for an example you can tweak to fit your needs. When you're done using the interactive segmenter results, call the close method to clean up. If you use the closure method, then you don't need this step. And that's it. 
With this code, you can get started with interactive segmentation in your own web app. You can check out a complete code example on CodePen and view all the available solutions on the MediaPipe website or get more hands-on with solutions in MediaPipe Studio. All these great resources are linked in the video. All right, you've heard enough from me. It's your turn. Tell me what you're working on. Tell me what you learned. Tell me what you still wanna know. Leave a comment here on YouTube or on LinkedIn. I can't wait to see what you build.